Hello. In the last session, I presented some small fixes for the current application. In this session, I will show you how to add view routing to your application. Before introducing routing, we need to create two extra components, named comp A and comp B. In the templates folder, let's create a new HTML file, named comp template.html. Add the following content to this file. In the same folder, let's create a new HTML file, named comp template.html. Add the following content to this file. Please note the template names, comp-a-template and comp-b-template. These names will be used by the new view components that we are going to create. In their components folder, create a new JavaScript file, named compa.js. Add the following content to this file. In the same components folder, create a new JavaScript file, named compb.js. Add the following content to this file. Now that we have created the components, let's register them in the app1.js file. Open app1.js file and add the newly created components to the list of components, like so. Now open the index.cshtml file and add the code that loads the two new components right before the code that is loading the app1 related files. Now in the folder view, create a new subfolder named Rotes. Inside that folder, let's create a new JavaScript file, named app-roots.js. Add the following constant variables to that file. Back to index.cshtml file, add the link to this new file, right above the main app1 link. Now, go back to the app1.js and add the router section, which will load the routing settings into the view object. In the main template 1.html file, add the routing tags. These tags will actually load each component, based on whichever one gets selected by the user. If everything was correctly introduced, you'll be able to see two links on the screen, each one rotate to the specified component. Now, let's test the application.
I hope this will help you in creating more sophisticated applications using Vue. Thank you for watching this session.